Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, this is about MIT Manipal and I'm going to cover the tuition fee waiver scheme, which is a very good option for student to study at a very low fees, right? So this is AICT approved tuition fee waiver scheme, which is applicable to uh, both the colleges of Mahe. So under Mahe, there are two colleges, uh, which is Manipal Institute in Manipal and the second one is Manipal Institute in Bangalore. So both the campus, this scheme is available. So now starting with this, uh, you would have got similar mails, right? Uh, if you are attending that the tuition fee waiver scheme is applicable to this college, which is Manipal Institute of Technology, Manipal campus and applicable to all these branches, which is in chemical department or civil department or different branches of computer science. Also, if you even if you are studying electrical and different branches of electrical like biomedical, electrical electronics, ECE, electronics, instrumentation, cyber physical systems, mechatronics, electronics engineering, VLSI, every branch it is applicable. Mechanical also, all the streams, automobile, aeronautical, industrial, mechanical, etc. And apart from that, the main campus, even for all the branches of Bangalore campus, this tuition fee, uh, fee waiver scheme is applicable to branches of computer, electrical, everything. Even the students who have been already got the seat in the round one, round two, they will all also be eligible for this if their criteria uh, they are able to meet, right? So the total course fee structure you should understand it's quite less and if you see chemical engineering you can do just at 1,32,000 per year and total 4 years fees for chemical engineering is less than 5 lakhs. For you know BTEC in a civil engineering you can see it is 6,26,000 for 4 years so 1 year fees is 1,64,000. And then for BTEC in computer science engineering, 1,93,000 for the first year, 1,83,000 for the second year and so on. Total fees here for your computer branches will be just 7.42 lakhs for 4 years, which is quite economical under tuition fee waiver scheme. Next, talking about the other computer branches, which I mentioned again, same thing, 1,93,000 for the first year and 1,83 onwards for the all other years. So total fees for all the branches of computer will be same, 7,42,000. Now talking about the electrical branches, right, which is biomedical, electrical, and you can see all the electronics related branches, right? So different fees are there like 1,32,000 for biomedical, 1,70,000 per year for triple E electrical electronics and 1,93,000 for ECE and so on. So different you can check on your own mechatronics and the electronics and computer all the branches fees and it will be like 6,50,000 total or 7,42,000 depending on which type of branch you are selecting. So this is also quite economical and same is applicable also to the mechanical engineering branches. You can see 1,64,000 for aeronautic, automobile uh, and mechanical branches total will be just 6,26,000 and the industrial engineering branches is even you know cost cheaper right. So it is available just at f under 5 lakh rupees you can study uh, industrial engineering in the uh, you know main campus of the MIT. So the installment and fees payment will be similar thing and after the allotment of the seat you will have to pay the first round of allotment uh, uh, seat as per this sheet and uh, then you will be able to you know, join this, this particular seat category. What is the criteria to be eligible for AICT TFW which is tuition fee waiver scheme right. So first condition is you should have appeared for MET 2024 rank. So it is only for those students who have got the MET 2024 rank. Second they should be 10 plus 2 you know with uh, you know physics, maths and English as a compulsory subject right. So that is there and AICT TFW scheme will not exceed more than 5% of all the general seats. So total seats available will be 5% of all the seats in every branch which will be covered under tuition fee waiver scheme. And what is the criteria? The criteria is that the parent parents income right father and mother's income gross annual income right from all the sources of income 
before any deduction should be less than 8 lakhs sell 8 lakhs right so this is as per the aict requirement in this year 24 25 assessment year your total salary of your parents put together should be less than 8 lakhs then you are eligible for this scheme right and as a document you know at the time of application submission you now you will have to provide the self attested photocopy of income tax returns of your parents right both the parents fathers and mothers and if they are getting total less than 8 lakhs then you are eligible right and if parents are working abroad then you should be basically giving uh, you know submitting the copy of 12 months salary slip with passport and the visa details all of those right and after the verification of this eligibility criteria only you will be eligible for the tuition fee, uh, tuition fee waiver scheme so as the name suggests it is only the tuition fee waiver so all the other expenses like hostel accommodation books and mess etc will be different and will not be covered under this tuition fee waiver scheme the most important thing is uh, understand the counseling proce procedure for tuition fee waiver scheme so it is the same steps as you did for the normal counseling which is registration then you will have to do choice filling there will be seat allotment and you have to pay the course fee payment and you also need to pay the wait listing fees right so where do you register for this there is a link given here right all students who want to participate in this online counseling they should register using this link which is http backslash colon forms dot ge and you can click this link as you would have also got on your mail also so last date to submit the document and preference online both is 27 june so you have to put your option and choice entry of the college and the branch as well as the document which i mentioned just now before 27th june right then only you are eligible on seat allotment course fee will be required to be paid as per the normal you know uh, normal schedule which you have seen in the manipal met counseling of round one and round two so the choice filling process is also same that uh, you have to select first choice then followed by second third fourth and so on right and based on your preferences you will be getting the branches which are available still under tuition fee waiver scheme so remember that at the time of choice filling you are required to give the you know eligible documents for total father income which is your gross total income as per the income tax return upload father's it acknowledgement of assessment year 24 25 and also you need to put the same document for your mother also and then only you will be eligible for this tuition fee waiver scheme and uh, once you are um, getting selected and at any branch you will get the mail from btech.counseling at the rate amanipal.edu at the end